Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Hill for a tarot reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your support of the channel. I appreciate you. I think of you every day. So just know that and I send you my love. I love reading tarot. I have been doing it a long time and I'm not going to stop. It's a lifelong passion. So thanks for joining me. If you're new, welcome. Glad you're here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days. Watch a new reading. I would never try to force a reading to, to make it fit with you. There's plenty of content here. There's plenty of new readings. Um, I'd also, um, you know, you can do look at other parts of your chart and that'll give you a more complete energetic profile or even look around on the Monday readings because the format is different from week to week. I like to change things up a little bit. And um, if you um, like tarot and you like this channel and you haven't subscribed, love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please? Messages do you have for Aries, please? Okay, that's pretty good. Again, we'll start with the um, tarot here. Have the angel answers, and uh, yeah. You've got the Four of Cups, Justice. The Eight of Swords, the Chariot, the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Sun, and the Magician. Well, I do, I got the word liberation, like you're being liberated from something. It was right around in here that it started to come into my mind. Um, I definitely see things moving forward if it feels like, especially if it feels like there was a situation that didn't feel very fair, you know, like you put in a lot if it was a relationship and you kept investing in it or even in a job too, you just kept investing in it. And it just seemed like there were opportunities passing you by or this person wasn't committing or even if they broke things off. You know, I do see as you go through in the reading, you know, when you get into things like this, you've got a wonderful turn of events here. This is like, manifesting dreams come true. I mean, talk about an incredible energy to have in any reading. Um, so it's definitely success, achievement, and there's love, there's love too, if that's what it's about for you. It's really achievement in any area, success, abundance in any area. And abundance is one of those words that means a lot of different things to different people. It doesn't have to just be financial. Um, so with the um, Four of Cups, again, it's like, you know, not, not being satisfied, feeling dissatisfied with the situation. And even I feel like for some of you, if it was a relationship, you got sick of trying. It's like you put a lot into it and just didn't see either way, job or any, anything really just didn't want to keep doing it. It's like, well, I'm not seeing the progress and it may have been your own expectations and I'm not trying to, you know, create a problem here. I'm just telling you, sometimes we have certain expectations and when they're not met, it's just like, well, that's, I'm not lowering the bar for this person or job or whatever it is. Um, so some of you with this, it can really lend itself to creating eight of swords type of energy. All right. The cards are connected. So it's almost like a progression in some ways. It's like when we get, you know, some kind of an upper respiratory thing and it progresses into bronchitis and then pneumonia, you know, it's not like the eight of swords is almost the pneumonia of the deck. Um, you know, for especially in Aries, because you don't like to be restricted and feel like choices are limited. So with justice, I definitely feel like you got a, a different, you started to try some different things. And this is really all about putting your foot down and just saying, look, you know, th this is what I'm, I'm interested in. And if that's not a match for you, then this is not a match. And it's being very confident. There's no fear here. Justice knows that you know, all is going to work out. The universe, This is about the universe bringing balance into things. And so too, if somebody didn't fulfill their word, I do feel like they live with a lot of regret around it, whether it was a job that you left or a relationship. Um, and for a relationship, they may try to come back around. I would not rule that out here. Or maybe they're, they're already sending texts and things and trying to figure out how to keep a, a door partially cracked. 
But either way, I do feel like you're moving on here. And so with justice, it's seeing the absolute tr truth. It's also staying true to your own passions, though. You know, this is a card of integrity, confidence, and strength. It is not about caving in and just kind of, you know, being codependent and doing what other people want. Um, it really, you've got that several times here, too, about really being true to yourself. And then you see what you can do because the power is all within you, you know. And so with the Eight of Swords here, we talked a little bit about this. I think I did refer to it as the, the pneumonia of the deck. <laughs> I'm going to think of that later and laugh. Anyway, it's um, a really restricted energy. And it's also not seeing choices. And sometimes this can be, because you do have the Seven of Wands and that Knight of Swords, more of that force manifesting. So you may have gotten what you wanted for a period, but it's like it just got stagnant. It wouldn't grow and continue because it wasn't really manifested from that higher level, um, you know, from that source energy. It was more from the mind and architecting things. The universe wasn't the guide when you're in this. It's like you're architecting the plan and to the point that the other, the other people involved just can't keep up with it and it just gets exhausting. So with this, it is about coming out of this limitation. And of course, you've got several Law of Attraction cards here. You know, we do have, I didn't even say this, we've got uh, Libra, Cancer, Leo here. And then you've got um, definitely some air, water. You've got uh, fire here too. You have all the um, elements with the Magician too. But Cancer is a, uh, excuse me, the Chariot is a card of strength moving forward. And for you, I do hear the word dominating. And so you may feel like in any situation, it was like whatever wasn't working, it became a catalyst where you could refocus your energy into something new. And it's awesome. Um, you know, it's one of those things too with a relationship where you move on and it feels like it, you really get it, why that other thing didn't work out or the job too. And it's freedom because you're not trying to force something to move along that just wasn't meant to be. And so with this, it really is about bringing heaven to earth. The celestial curtain at the top represents the divine. And of course, it's a chariot situated on the earth. But it's also, too, these sphinxes are not attached. He has them pulling him with his mind. You have it a couple of times here because you have it with the magician, too. And this is also about using the conscious mind to manifest. And so your thoughts become things in this energy. So the secret, of course, is the feeling, right? And so with this... You have this strong, confident feeling. Now, for some of you, too, you do have travel indicated here. You've got energies of moving forward, travel. And so maybe you'll get a little break in between if it was a job or even if it's a solo trip. If you if you broke up with somebody and decide just to get out by yourself for a little bit, you will. it'll be one of those things where you'll really find some peace. It'll be a situation that goes well. So with the Knight of Swords, this moves forward. It's communication quick and sudden too though. So it releases you from that eight of swords. So you may have had a pretty nasty falling out or, or a, an exchange of words here. And, and so sometimes it's one of those things where we leave a job with a flare, right? And in a relationship though, this is not an energy you want to be an ongoing feature in your life. If this continues and you have somebody who's still upset, you may have to distance yourself for a while because this just brings up that ire and anger and resentment. It's just not a, um, in terms of this particular reading, sometimes it can be other, there can be other meanings tied to it, but you always want to look at the cards around the each other. They're all related and connected. So we don't want to just take cards individually and do just kind of like one by one and they don't connect. So we talked a little bit about the Seven of Wands. It's pushing forward, yes. Um, it is finding solutions to problems and it's overcoming. It's also a card of success and victory. You do have two sevens here. But like I said, sometimes it can be through will. It doesn't have to be, but it's just a caution. Being careful to make sure you're meditating. and Because you may be smarter than some other people here, okay? Not trying to pump the ego, but I'm just telling you. You may be outsmarting people, but the thing is, it's like when you manifest that way, Again, they may after a while come to and realize <laughs> they weren't that interested in the circumstance, right? Or even if it's a job where somebody told you something they were not going to deliver on and they kept doing it to kind of convince you, you know, because you do have several um, elements of wisdom here too. You have it in the chariot and you've got it 
and the pillars and the justice card too. And it's like learning from your mistakes. Um, but with the sun, I mean, this is a, a card of radiating joy, pure positivity. It's bliss. It's being in your bliss. Find your bliss. Follow your bliss. However, Joseph Campbell said that one. And it's a high vibrational energy. It is synergy. So in a new relationship or a new job, you're going to be on point, on fire. Or even if it's a new position in something you've already been in, it's like you're in this place. It's like a new lease on life. It, the sun revolutionizes your life. And nothing hides from the sun. It's unconditional. So it's all areas too. So especially too, if you got into some bad habits with diet and nutrition, which can happen in relationships, right? We kind of sink into some things and then we get out of them. We go, oh man, I've got to get back to where I was. And you look at a picture or something, right? Here you go. You get in sync with things and everything just starts to flow and it feels natural. There's no force here. This is a very natural progression. And so with the magician, you have the energy and power that creates worlds. You are accessing this energy. And so with this, it is a card too of being um, able to see things. You have a, a few different times here. Uh, the Justice card, Chariot 2, it's like you can see things. Nothing will, if, if something was not quite on the up and up, you see it very clearly in this energy. And that helps you too to move forward. So in a relationship, in terms of attracting a new relationship, it checks all the boxes. I do, again, I feel like there's a new person showing up here. And if it's not right away and you say, no, I do have a trip planned first, it might be right after that. It's like you getting into a high vibrational state and manifesting. And so with this, there's nothing out of reach. You know, it's a card of really seeing your, your heart's desires manifest in the 3D reality. So let's see here what the angels have to say for you. I do like all the flowers too. I feel like for somebody here, because we talk a lot about those pillars, but they're kind of dark and gray, right? They're not that exciting. If you go to, you happen by like a flower garden or something, sometimes those can be the synchronicities. You see the red roses, the white lilies, and then for some reason there's sunflowers and you go, oh man, it's like it was the reading materialized in front of you. So let's see about a timeline. Yes, no, maybe. All right, you have here, ask for help from others. You know, so with this, if there's something to do with a job or um, even meeting new people, getting out there, maybe just those social opportunities and letting other people around you know, because you got helpful people here. So loyal people around you, you've got be assertive. That shouldn't be too much of a problem, should it? <laughs> Within the next few weeks. So things are definitely moving forward. And you've got don't stop. So good things are on the way for you, Aries. I love you and I'll be back again soon.